What do you think? What do you think's her name? Married old Charlie, tiddly wink, but tiddly wink's to blame. He had a nose as red as a rose, but what I want to know, did she marry him for love, or was it for his dough? Why did Mary, what do you think, marry old Charlie, tiddly wink, and treat him to a what do you think upon the wedding day? Why did she tickle him under the chin, give him toffee with almonds in, and chase him into the fields all day, gathering nuts and maize? Mary, what do you think had been cheat all all her life? Old Tiddly Winky signed the pledge when she became his wife. Since she married Tiddly Wink, you never think he's taking to drink. And that's why Mary, what do you think, has lost a Tiddly Wink? <laughs> what a silly song. I shall never forget when I met my wife. It was in the garden village of England, a little place in Yorkshire called Barnsley, where they shoot pigs with steam. It's a nice place, the birds fly backwards way there to keep the dust out of their eyes. Well, another Yorkshireman and myself happened to be in post office filling our fountain pens. Other jokes will follow in rapid succession. And she were on one side and I were on the other and we passed each other for about three quarters of an hour. And I don't think she noticed sex appeal. And all at once the spirit moved us and we kind of drew together. And she came right up to me and looked into both of my eyes and... I looked into her one. Ah, ah, joke over. I didn't mind her only having one eye. What I really took exception to was her teeth. Not that I do in the ordinary course of events, but I did to hers because they belonged to her sister, and her sister has a bigger mouth than her. Pardon me, a little lapsus laundry. In any case, the morning we got married, she were on my arm, and we swanked up the isle, and we saw the old gentleman there with the nightshirt and the whiskers. It wasn't my parson, he wears pyjamas. <laughs> Joke over, we all know what pyjamas are. I asked the old gentleman how much would it be to get married. He says, well, you've got a nice, kind, homely face, you can give me as much as you think it's worth. So I gave him a shilling. He had a good look at my wife and gave me ten pence change. Ah, ah, joke over. Not that I'm grumbling, she's very nice, but she's very mean. She gets up in the morning and brings me a cup of tea and drinks it herself. I think I'll tell you more on the other side. I'm done brown. Turn me over.